I am baking a cake. A chocolate cake. Because that's the easiest thing to make. Oh my. Doesn't that look just delicious? I'm just gonna... Mm. Oh, that is good. Oh, would you look at that? That is just brilliant. It's beautiful. And I divided it into eight different pieces that I am having to go to, having to eat. But it is really, 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 really hot at the moment. So I'm gonna let it cool off for a while. But oh, I should just. It's delicious. And I wish you could smell it too because it's brilliant. Really brilliant. Alrighty then. Uh, it's cooled off now. So I can eat it without burning my tongue off. Got some water to swallow it down with. And most importantly, a spoon. And can't be bothered to put it on a plate. Because that means more dishes for me. So I'm just gonna eat out of here. So, did you know I didn't eat any breakfast or lunch or dinner today just for this? Don't try this at home, kids. I am going to be stuffed. It is good though. Okay, so I ate in three pieces out of eight. And I'm starting to really, really, really feel it. And, you know, Sabrina was the one who gave me this punishment. She's really good at coming up with punishments, actually. Uh, but she did not specifically say that I had to eat it all in one sitting. So I am going to go and take a break and come back and eat some more, but I need to breathe. 2 a.m. Batteries dying. Three thingies left. Uh, I give up. I am going to go to throw up and sleep and I have officially finished the sticky cake. Did I tell you that I named it sticky cake? Because sticky cake sounds delicious, doesn't it? So Simon asked why we go on vacations and uh, like what Tunisia could give him other than warmer temperatures and I have watched this show on TV uh, where they help people who have problems sleeping and this sounds like it's going nowhere but it actually I have a point I, I watched this show and because this were, there was this guy who had trouble trouble sleeping and uh, because he used to like draw and be on the computer and watch movies and like do stuff like that in his bed so that he associated his bed with work and computer and stuff like that so he couldn't sleep because he his brain associated bed with work and i think it's a, it's the same thing with here if we associate home with work then it's really hard for us to relax and just you know not work because his advice that he got is he never, he could never ever be with his computer in his bed again. He had to like sit actually on a chair or in a sofa or something. He was not allowed to be in his bed with the sofa, uh, with the sofa, with his computer <laughs> because then his brain would be, be like confused and he wouldn't be able to sleep. Um, I also know that uh, when I'm here in this house, I hate cooking and I hate d doing dishes and I think all of that is just so annoying and so time consuming and oh I just hate it. But when I lived alone in my dad's little apartment, 
that was not a problem at all. I just got up and did it because I knew that because it's like I can feel my mom's presence in this house and when I feel my mom's presence I'm like oh, I'm just a kid I can't do it by myself but I knew that I was alone at my dad's house so then it wasn't a problem because like I associated that place with being alone and taking responsibility and I so th associate this place with being a kid and my mom taking a lot of responsibility so I think it's what what the brain associates with the place so if